So for the last couple of years, my younger brother has been trying to get me into F1. And uh, so I woke up early this morning, first season as a fan, first race. I saw the last lap of the Vegas race last year where Leclerc passed Perez on like the last turn. So I became a Leclerc fan then. And then after seeing his Q2 lap uh, yesterday, I got pretty excited thinking, you know, maybe this year we won't see 19 out of 22 victories from Verstappen. The Dutch driver continues his domination of Formula One. New year, but no new winner. Max Verstappen, still the driver to be. Max Verstappen wins oh, the season the opener. He takes the Bahrain Grand Prix. So yeah, that was a bit boring. And Checo drove really well too. It was like he's driving for a seat. I feel like signs might end up in Checo's seat so it's almost like they were racing each other for that because signs was killing it he uh overtook Leclerc twice Leclerc was like locking up throughout the race so um that was hard to watch but I guess you know from what I've seen in the F1 memes if you're a Ferrari fan I guess you get used to that I'm a new fan um Drive to Survive got me into it I uh I'm a filmmaker myself so I love like the stories between the the uh I was gonna call them characters but they're drivers um, they basically are characters. And uh, what I love so much about the show was that it really got you into the different stories. So even though Verstappen dominated, you also get to follow some of these other guys. So that brings me to one of my favorite moments of the race was when um, our, the RB team had Ricardo switch with Tsunoda in order to catch the Haas for 12th. And, you know, Tsunoda obviously was not having it. Driver swap, driver swap. Are you me now? So he doesn't love that idea. And then uh, Ricardo wasn't able to catch him. So then in the cool down lap, Sonoda like dove in on turn one. And then they kind of like did a little, you know, here and Sonoda got past him. Okay, you had luck like, uh, in turn one. And then uh, yeah, I think it was difficult for uh, most people out there to start with. Oh, what the fuck? And then they saw this meme of this cat that was like perfectly represents Yuki probably in the in the post race hanging out in the RB team uh, uh, paddock. Another thing that like was a little bit disappointing was Hamilton. I guess I'm too new to understand like w what happened, but it was so interesting to see Russell qualify so high and Hamilton started P9 and. Felt like, you know, he's a smart racer. He made some interesting moves, like, in order to, to make up some places, but nothing really surprising. Um, so I wonder if play. He, he seems like a racer that plays the long game in the races. I wonder if it's the same in the season. But, um, yeah, just clearly, I guess the Mercedes car is not there yet because one of the best battles throughout the race was when I, it was pretty early on uh, where Russell passed Leclerc, and then for 40 laps... Leclerc was trying to get that spot back and he finally did so it was the two Red Bulls and then the two Ferraris but yeah it was a bit of a letdown from Hamilton so I'm excited to see like what what will come from that in the next couple of weeks and of course throughout the season but yeah overall it was worth it like qualification was really exciting like this is my first time ever sitting down and watching any of this so I watched practice a couple of weeks leading up I bet to people who kind of understand more about it, it was more boring. But for me, being the first time, I, I really liked following that. But I guess you didn't really learn much. Um, but it was exciting to see it all kind of come into play in qualifications yesterday. I had no idea that, like, how the shootout works. You know, the first, like, five, bottom five get knocked out in Q1. The next bottom five get knocked out in Q2. And then the top ten for the quali shootout in Q3. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. And, and it's cool to uh, root for Leclerc when, you know, he, he is really good at those, like, uh, he really does have a good, like, one-lap pace. So uh, overall, yeah, I guess everybody expected it to go like this, and it kind of sucks that it went like that. I was really surprised with how well Sainz raced. Like, he's definitely racing for a seat. So I'm looking forward to seeing, like, where he ends up. And uh, looking forward to next week.